हेलो गुड इवनिंग हेलो मिस गुड नाइट गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग यस गुड नाइट इज अ वे टू से गुड बाय एट नाइट आ व्हेन टू अवेट गुड इवनिंग इज व्हेन बुनास टार्डेस आहा बुनास टार्डेस बुनास नोचेस क्वांडो आम cuando entramos, por ejemplo, ahorita que vamos a empezar, que nos estamos, recién nos vemos y nos saludamos por la noche, se dice good evening. Para despedirnos ya podemos decir good, good evening. evening. Uh -huh. ah. Ajá, el saludo. Yo pensaba ¿no? que el, el good evening era solo para en, en la tarde, no en la noche. Ajá, no, es, se usa en la noche también, pero es un saludo como un hi, como un hola. Good evening. Ahora sí, ya nos vamos a despedir. Ah. Decimos good night. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, me. Thank you for explanation. <laughs> You're welcome. Sí, siempre se aprende algo nuevo y, y qué bueno ir puliendo detalles. Nada más puliendo. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for being on time. You are always very responsible. And... Uh, and let's see, I just have a couple of people here, but yes, we're going to start in honor to the ones that are always early. Uh, remember that you should complete the platform up to section number three and the midterm exam by tomorrow later, or I think today. Yes, today is the eighth class. So yes, that will be done for today. And if you need assistance or is there any exercise that is troubling you, uh, we're going to check it. So do you have any question about any exercise before we start the class? Miss, I have a question. It is from exercise nature and ether. Oh. Uh, when you use this expression, when... Mm, yes, I saw that you were um you were discussing about it. You did an excellent job with that because Can you hear yes, me? yeah, you were explaining your classmates and um yes, so you did it good and the explanation was pretty good. Uh, today we're going to discuss that. Um, no, no quise meterme en sus asuntos porque les quería explicar ahora en la clase más detenidamente, verdad? So yes, I'm waiting for this moment. So we're going to uh, develop the class and uh, in a moment, I'm going to explain that, okay? So let's begin. Uh, yesterday, we completed the reading exercise and oh, okay, let's stop. Hmm. Oh, give me one second. Okay, we completed this reading exercise. Uh, we discussed some vocabulary. Remember that this is in the material and um, you can always complete them at home whenever you have time. Uh, the purpose of yesterday was to discuss vocabulary. Give me one second. Okay, um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, so I got a cough. That's the worst part. I hate it. <laughs> so you can do this exercise whenever you, you have the time. The purpose of yesterday's class was uh, to discuss the vocabulary and that you understand the reading. Okay, so where am I going? Okay, so you understood the reading, we discussed the vocabulary, and now you are able to uh, complete this part A and B um, because they are questions related to the article. So you can develop this uh, whenever you have time in your material. Now, the listening, yes, I want to complete the listening part with you because uh, this is not found in the platform. So we're going to do it here in the class. The listening part, it says, I'm from Honolulu. 
we are going to listen and gather this information, uh, size of the city, weather, prices of things, and most famous place. Remember that if you don't have the material in a paper, if you haven't printed, uh, you can um, work in your notebook. Okay. It is the listening. So remember, we're going to listen the conversation and complete what does Jenny said about these things. Number one, size of the city. Number two, weather. Number three, prices of things. And number four, most famous places. Okay. So if you don't have it printed, remember, you can just write number one, two, three, four, and then we're going to get that information and you write it down. Ready? Ready, teacher. Okay, let's listen. I'm going to play it twice. Units 11 to 12, progress check. Page 84, exercise one, listening. I'm from Honolulu, part A. Listen to Jenny talk about Honolulu. What does she say about these things? Complete the chart. So you're from Hawaii, Jenny? That's right. Where in Hawaii? I'm from Honolulu, on the island of Oahu. Wow, Honolulu. That's a fairly big city, isn't it? No, not really. It's not too big. The weather is great, though, right? Oh, yes, it is. It's very comfortable the whole year. Warm, but not too hot. I've heard that Honolulu is an expensive city. Is that true? Well, yes, it is pretty expensive. Rents are high, and food is expensive, too. That's because everything comes in from the mainland. What's that beach in Honolulu? Well, the most famous place in Honolulu is probably Waikiki Beach. That's where all the tourists go. Yeah, that's it, Waikiki Beach. Units 11 to 12, progress check. Page 84, exercise one, listening. I'm from Honolulu, part A. Listen to Jenny talk about Honolulu. What does she say about these things? Complete the chart. So you're from Hawaii, Jenny? That's right. Where in Hawaii? I'm from Honolulu, on the island of Oahu. Wow, Honolulu. That's a fairly big city, isn't it? No, not really. It's not too big. The weather is great, though, right? Oh, yes, it is. It's very comfortable the whole year. Warm, but not too hot. I've heard that Honolulu is an expensive city. Is that true? Well, yes, it is pretty expensive. Rents are high, and food is expensive, too. That's because everything comes in from the mainland. What's that beach in Honolulu? Well, the most famous place in Honolulu is probably Waikiki Beach. That's where all the tourists go. Yeah, that's it, Waikiki Beach. Did you gather all the information or do you want to listen again? One more time, teacher. Okay. Units 11 to 12, progress check. Page 84, exercise one, listening. I'm from Honolulu, part A. Listen to Jenny talk about Honolulu. What does she say about these things? Complete the chart. So you're from Hawaii, Jenny? That's right. Where in Hawaii? I'm from Honolulu, on the island of Oahu. Wow, Honolulu. That's a fairly big city, isn't it? No, not really. It's not too big. The weather is great though, right? Oh yes, it is. It's very comfortable the whole year. Warm, but not too hot. I've heard that Honolulu is an expensive city. Is that true? Well, yes, it is pretty expensive. Rents are high and food is expensive too. 
That's because everything comes in from the mainland. What's that beach in Honolulu? Well, the most famous place in Honolulu is probably Waikiki Beach. That's where all the tourists go. Yeah, that's it. Waikiki Beach. Okay, uh, volunteer for number me one. Teacher, me teacher, me teacher. 11 to 12 Hi, progress check. <laughs> okay, Fernando. Thank you. What is the answer to number one? Uh, number one sign of city is, is a short city because she say is not uh, big. Uh-huh, it's not too big. Not too big, it's a small city. Excellent, Fernando, thank you so much. Number two, the weather, volunteer. What does she say about the weather, David? The weather is comfortable, warm, but not too hot. Okay, let's see. Excellent, David, it's very comfortable, warm, but not too hot. Excellent, thank you so much. <clears throat> A volunteer for number three, prices of things. Me, teacher. Me, Thank teacher. you, Jancy. Jancy? It's expensive, prior thing. Yes, it's pretty expensive. Excellent, Jancy. Very good job. And finally, you, number teacher. four, what is the most famous place? A volunteer? Kiki Beach. Me, teacher. Oh. Kiki uh -huh. Beach. Kiki? Kiki Beach. Uh, famous. It is Waikiki Beach. Um, when I hear Waikiki, I, I want a piña colada. <laughs> okay, so you did an excellent job with the listening. Uh, and you see, it's a, no es necesario como entender el 100% de todas las palabras que escuchamos, pero sí la información clave que estábamos buscando y lo hicieron excelente. So that's the purpose. Now, uh, this is part of the progress check. And uh, esto es parte del progress check que está, que es como un resumen de las unidades que hemos visto. Eh, esto ya lo practicamos bastante, el cómo dar advice diciendo, Infinitives, for example, it is a good idea to uh, drink cough drops. It is a good idea to take some uh, multivitamins or sometimes it is helpful, it is helpful to, um, to get some uh, heating pads or things like that. So we have done this, but maybe vocabulary. So a stomach ache, you already know that is a uh, dolor de estomago. An insect bite, is it clear? An insect bite? Yes. Uh huh. Picada uh, insecto. Picada de insecto. A nosebleed? Nosebleed? It's blue. Mm -hmm. It's blood. Resfriado. No. Alergia? Congestion. Como alergia? Congestion. No, look at this. It's bleed. It's like you know the meaning of blood. Sangrado de nariz. Yes. Nose bleed is sangrado de nariz. The nose bleed, sangrado de nariz. And the the high cups. This one, the high cups. Hippo. Hippo. <laughs> yes, that is hippo. All right, so now that we just review vocabulary because we have been practicing how to give advice. And yes, we want to discuss the grammar topic that is troubling us. So we have this uh, vocabulary. May I take your order? And we have um, kind of hmm, stories about the food, but I, um, I want to check it from the material because I, I can make it bigger there so that you can help me read him. And here it is. All right. Ooh. Okay. Um, noodles. Who wants to read about noodles?
a volunteer to read the the noodles. Uh huh. Edson, thank you. First, uh, first made in China, China. China. Uh -huh. Around, around. Uh, um, one thousand. One one thousand. Before BCA. Christ. Before Christ. Uh -huh. Before Christ. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's not one million. One million? No, one thousand. One thousand. It's three zeros, right? One, two, 1, three. 000. Yes. Uh, we are one thousand. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I need to see. <laughs> okay. Uh, first made in China around one thousand before Christ. A long time ago, right? <laughs> What about coffee? Who wants to read about the coffee? Me, teacher. Thank you so much, Carla. Coffee fur farmed in the Middle East in 850. Excellent. Thank you, Carla. Uh, volunteer to read about chocolate. Me, Me teacher. teacher. Me. Okay, I heard Fernando and someone else. Can I follow another person? Uh, Joanna. Okay, Joanna, you can read about the chocolate and Fernando French fries. Okay. okay. Brought, brought to Spain from Mexico in 1520. Excellent. Thank you so much, Joanna. Fernando? Thank you. First, first made in Belgium around. Uh, 1680. 1680. Okay, thank you so much, Fernando. Volunteer to read about the sushi. Me, teacher. Okay. Sushi. Modern style sushi first made in Japan in the 1700. Okay, thank you so much. The sandwich, volunteer, the sandwich. Me, teacher. Thank you, Celia. The sandwich, made for the English ale of sandwich in... Wait, ese es el número puede... One... Lo puede decir en dos números, separarlo, 1760. 1760. Uh -huh, 1760. O oh, lo puede decir completo. 1760. 1700. 100. No, 1000. One. Primero el mil. 1000. 1000. 760. Excellent. Very good. Now, pizza. I want you to read about pizza. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. First pizzeria in New York City opened in 1895. Okay, excellent. That's why people said that the best pizza is from New York. Makes sense. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joanna. The hamburger. Volunteer to read in hamburger. The hamburger. Me teacher. Thank you, Edson. Invited in Connecticut, USA. In 1900. Zero, zero. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now that we read a little story, uh, pieces of a story about those foods, let's listen to this conversation. It's getting something to eat. We're going to listen to the whole thing and then you tell me if you have any questions. Unit 13. May I take your order? Page 86, Exercise 2, Conversation. Getting something to eat. Part A. 
Listen and practice. Say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure. I'm tired of studying. So am I. So, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do I. And I know a great restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Okay, is there any question about this conversation? Me, yes, I have a question. I have a question. Yes, Fernando. Uh, is from I'm I, o sea, es correcto decir así. I'm I. So am I. O a donde? Aquí donde, donde dice so I'm I. So am I. This, mm -hmm. this. Yes, it's correct. Yes. Mm, es que como que yo pensaba que estaba al revés. No, así se dice. Y también es con sodo, sodo hay. Sodo hay. Ajá. Esa es la forma de responder eh, ah. para most agreement. Es gramaticalmente así se arma la, la respuesta cuando estamos como en sintonía con lo que la persona dice. Es como el decir yo también, pero tiene que ir conjugándose, como ya lo decían en el chat, con el mismo verbo o con el mismo auxiliar que nos hayan expresado a nosotros. Okay, y esa es la estructura. Primero el ah. so, luego el verbo o el auxiliar y al final el sujeto. Eso es para las afirmativas. Ya vamos a ver las negativas también. Any other question? Yes, teacher. Ajá, What does it mean? Is spicy. Spicy. Spicy, spicy se refiere a la comida picosa, condimentada, con chile. Okay, thank you, teacher. Any other question? Hey, me teacher. Yes, uh, I have a question. Uh, how do you say Iroha or Iroha? Iroha. I, Iroha. Iroha. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Va a pasar rapidito y apague la cámara y cerra ahí. Ay, mono. Tío cuarto. Any other question? No more teacher. Exclude. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. No um. It's something incredible happened. You know, yesterday we lost a hamster and it appeared today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, magically. I was happy because it was lost, but anyways. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to listen to the rest of the conversation to complete the part B. Um, what time do they decide to have dinner and where do they decide to meet? So we're going to listen, and this is pretty easy, but uh, let's try to do it in the first attempt. Remember, what do we need to, um, to listen to is what time do they decide to have dinner and the place where they decide to meet. Let's listen. Page 86, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What time do they decide to have dinner? Where do they decide to meet? So, do you want to eat early or late? Let's eat early. Then maybe we can go to a movie afterward. Good idea. Why don't we have dinner around 6? Six? 6 is good. And where do you want to meet? Let's meet at the restaurant, okay? Yeah, that's fine with me. 
piece of cake. What time do they decide to have dinner? Early. Huh, early, but what time? Uh, six. Six, six o'clock. Six. Yeah, six. at six. Excellent. And where do they decide to meet? The restaurant. Excellent. At the restaurant. Okay, good. Now we're going to practice pronunciation. I'm going to play the recording one more time and I'm going to stop it so that you can repeat. <clears throat> Unit 13. May I take your order? Page 86, Exercise 2, Conversation. Getting something to eat. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure. I'm tired of studying. So am I. So, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah. I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do I. And, and I know a great restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Okay, is there any question about this? One more time. One more, more time, please. Okay. Unit 13. May I take your order? Page 86, Exercise 2, Conversation, Getting Something to Eat, Part A, Listen and Practice. Say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure, I'm tired of studying. So am I. So... What do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do I. And I know a great restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Okay, um, so uh, we have the conversation here in the material, but also I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group as if it is easier for you. So we're going to take the time to practice in groups, the conversation, and then we're going to go ahead with the grammar topic. Let's see. Okay, there we go.
Herbert, ¿no puede activar el micrófono aún? Oh, she's gone. Hi Ruth, have you tried unplugging the microphone? Ha tratado de ah uh, ah uh, uh, bueno si se está con el audio de la computadora, verdad Ruth? Oh. A veces funciona si sale y vuelve a entrar o trate ahí de, de el botoncito donde. Pueden ver la imagen. Yes. Ok. Ok. ¿Quién va a iniciar? Hola. Hello. Hi, I'm sorry. Okay. Comienzo yo si gusta. Okay, say. Sí. Uh, say do you want to get some time to eat? Sure. I'm tired of starting. So, um, I also, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I am not eating. I guess it a bit spicy. Do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do I. And I know a great restaurant near here. It's called Aroa. Aroa. Oh, I live, I went, when, when did you get, pardon, when did you go there? Okay. Mm. 
no sé quiénes más van a practicar. Hola, yo ya me funciona el micrófono. Ok. Eh, ¿Alguien más? Si no, conmigo. Bien. Eh, me, yo primero o, o usted. Um, voy a empezar yo. Ok. Say, do you want to get something to eat? Sure, I'm sure I am tired of studying. So am I. So what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I am not really in the mood The movie for today. today. Yeah. I am not a eater, I either. guess. Uh -huh. Either. There. Yeah, I'm not either. either. Yeah, I am not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Spicy, uh -huh. Spicy. Do you like ja Japanese? 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 Food. Food. Uh -huh. Food. Yeah. I like. I like it a lot. So do I? Who do I? And I know a great restaurant near here. It's called. Here is. It's Kale. called. Uh huh. Airoja. He's called Airoja. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Airoja. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Pretty good. Es de repetir, repetir y repetir hasta que lo vayan haciendo más como más rápido. But you're doing it good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Here it's called Airoja. Y lo haríamos al revés ahora. Ok. Hola, hola. Hola. Ya desconecté y volví a conectar el micrófono. Ok, entonces con otra compañera porque ya pasé dos veces. Voy a ser Jeff. Ok. Say, do you want to get some time to eat? Um, sure, I'm tired of studying. So, so I. So, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I don't know either. I get it. I buy spy. Do you, do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I like it a lot. So do I. Um, and I know a great restaurant near here. It's called Airoja. Oh, I live. Oh, well, went to go there. Okay. Ya no están sacando. Okay, how was it? Any comment before the rest? I mean, while we wait for the rest? Any comments? I know the vocabulary was pretty easy, but yes, always remember with the word great. Great. Do always remember to pronounce the T at the end. Great. Because if you don't, it sounds like the color, gray. Uh -huh. So you need to make sure to pronounce the T at the end, great. Great. Otherwise, uh -huh. great. 
Uh -huh. Otherwise, it sounds like the color gray. So uh -huh. make sure to pronounce the T at the end when we are using that expression. Great. Okay, uh, now we're going to check the attendance. And after that, we're going to proceed to explain the grammar topic. Uh, let's see. It's the... Okay. Amilcar Edgardo. Amilcar. Yeah, Amilcar is the moment is driver car. Oh, it's driving. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm car. I go my home. I go my home. Okay. Thank you for letting us know that you are listening and that you're in the meeting. Thank you. Angelica uh, Yamilet. Angelica. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Celia del Carmen. Yes, teacher. David Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you. Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elena Noemi. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elvira Lorenza. Elvira. Elvira, como que escribió en el chat, teacher. Ah, sí, ahí la veo que está conectada. Muchas gracias por avisar. Ok. Uh, Fernando Alberto. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Iris Elena. Iris Elena. Joana Yesenia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Fernando. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Selena. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Yasmin. Carla Yasmin. Catherine. Present. Thank you, Catherine. Kevin Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Oscar Alejandro. Oscar Alejandro. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Reina. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruth. Okay. Teacher. Eh, yes. Eh, Angelica y Alejandro escribieron en el chat. Angelica y Alejandro. Okay, gracias. Sí. Ahorita chequeo por aquí. Angelica. Me, teacher. Tú. Ok, thank you. Ahorita los anoto por acá. Ok, thank you so much. And we're going to watch the video and discuss the grammar topic that we have pending. 
Okay, let me share sound again. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we'll walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of to is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. To. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Well, now that we reviewed the video, now let me know what are your questions. Neither is the contraction. I'm sorry. Miss, when I use nature and ater, when? Neither and neither. Okay. That's one question. Is there any other? Okay, this is what you uh, saw in the video. Esto es lo que vimos en el video, ¿verdad? Y la pregunta de Fernando desde el principio de la clase es cuando usar neither y el either. Creo que um, esto es lo que es como no quedó muy claro, ¿verdad? El neither y el either. Ok. En este lado, tanto como en este, en ambas oraciones, eh, las, la forma de usar estas... Uh, Respuestas cortas son para mostrar agreement. 
que estamos en el mismo, que tenemos el mismo sentir, ¿verdad? Si se fijan acá, cuando estamos haciendo en afirmativo, uh, por ejemplo, para los afirmativos se usa el so y el to. So al the beginning, ¿ok? Y si no uso so, uso to, cualquiera de los dos, para mostrar que estoy que estoy en el mismo eh, sentir, digamos, eh, que estoy de acuerdo o es igual para mí lo que la otra persona manifestó. Por ejemplo, dice, I like Japanese food a lot. Esta oración está en presente simple. Ya sabemos que el presente simple utilizamos el auxiliar do. Entonces, como me está diciendo una oración en presente simple, I like Japanese food a lot. A mí también me gusta. Entonces yo le contesto, so do I. Otra forma de hacerlo es decir, I do too. Es el mismo. La misma. Estoy a, este, mostrando que también a mí estamos igual. Um, igual, ven acá. I'm crazy about Italian food. Estoy utilizando el verbo to be. I am crazy about Italian food. Entonces, mi respuesta va a ir con el mismo verbo to be, lo que les decía Daniel en el, David en el chat, creo. Es, van a ir jugando con el mismo verbo o con el mismo auxiliar al momento de responder en caso que sea igual para mí, que yo esté de acuerdo con lo que la otra persona me expresa. ¿Ok? Y recuerden que hay dos formas de hacerlo, con so o con to. Si utilizo so, so va a ir primero, luego el verbo o auxiliar de la oración y el sujeto de último. Si contesto con to, entonces la estructura es primero el sujeto, luego el verbo o el auxiliar y al final to. Ahora vamos a la parte de las negativas eh, y aquí es similar. Así como para afirmativo tenemos el so y el to, en negativos tenemos el neither y el either, ¿ok? Estas dos palabras las utilizamos cuando eh, alguien nos expresa una oración negativa y nosotros queremos demostrar que estamos en el mismo, en el mismo sentir, ¿verdad? Que estamos de acuerdo con lo que la otra persona dijo. Es igual para mí. Por ejemplo, alguien me dice, I don't like salty food. Me están diciendo, no me gusta la comida salada. Y casualmente que a mí tampoco. Entonces yo le expreso, neither do I, o I don't either. Ahora bien, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Ambos es igual. Nada más que neither ya es negativa. Y va a ir al principio. Como neither ya está negando, entonces, el auxiliar o el verbo lo voy a dejar simple. ¿Ok? Y al final el sujeto. Ahora, either, either no es negativa. Entonces, necesito un apoyo que me le dé la negación. Si se fijan aquí, ahora sí el auxiliar está negativo. I don't y el either al final. Así que recuerden, neither ya es negativo y se usa al principio. Either necesita una, eh, un auxiliar o un verbo en negativo para, uh, para complementarse y lo voy a escribir al final. Teacher, I have a question. ¿Mm? The structure can be changed in, for example, me neither. Um, don't Don't use the structure. Sí, pero esos son informales. Es informal. Yo puedo decir me neither o me either, pero ahí tenemos que tener cuidado porque, eh, uh, o sea, puede ser que sea muy, eh, es informal y aparte es bien básico contestar de esa manera. Entonces, uh, para tratar de, de que, pues, lo que estamos pretendiendo de ir más allá es de ir dejando las prácticas básicas, ¿verdad? Pero sí eh, se puede, como decir, me either o me neither. Entonces, ahí sí es un informal y no, eh, 
digamos que puede ser la, la, la vieja confiable, porque ahorita que no estamos muy familiarizados con el tema, y si alguien me dice, ah, I'm in the mood for a hamburger, y entonces digo, ah, me too, <laughs> me too, <laughs> and that's okay, o oh, oh, está bien, está hacerlo, me too, pero ajá, es bien básico. Y como okay. les digo, es como informal. Entonces en una plática ya con eh, personas eh, como los jefes y etcétera, uh, es mejor utilizar estas estructuras más formales, digamos, y avanzaditas. Eh, no sé si les quedó ya más claro el neither y el either. Yes, miss. Eh, y dijo también, ¿verdad?, que se puede usar eh, mi, ni, mi neither en mi either, ¿verdad? Mi either o mi neither, ajá. Pero sí mm, es, es... Pero dijo que es más, más básico. Ajá, es más básico y es informal. Uh -huh. Pero, como les digo, a veces no estamos como... Al principio sabemos esto, pero es como que... Eh, <ríe> Cuando empezamos ya a practicarlo, en, 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 ya sea que ya agarramos un trabajito y ocupamos más el inglés o etcétera, es como que nos cuesta un poquito y pues ahí está la, la vieja confiable, ¿verdad? Ah, oh, me too, me neither. <risa> Ajá, and you can do it and it's fine, está yes, bien. Yes. <risa> Tampoco es como yes. que digamos, oh, este barrio, no, no, it's okay. You can do that. <risa> Uh -huh. Y luego recordar siempre, practicar lo más que se pueda y ya luego uno se va como soltando más y, y, y dejando lo básico, pero es práctica. Uh -huh. So, is there any other question? ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta? Ok, adicional, recuerden, bueno, veo, ahora me di cuenta que ya están trabajando en eso y, y que me alegra porque para hoy ya tendrían que tener completa eh, la sección 3 de la plataforma y también el midterm exam. Entonces vi que lo solucionaron a como pudieron y pues ahorita ya solventamos las dudas que quedaron en el camino, ¿verdad? Eh, el ejercicio pues es poner en práctica esto que está acá, lo que acabamos de explicar y pues... Um, Adicional, pues ven que hay otras respuestas aquí. Eh, por ejemplo, si me dicen, I don't like salty food, pero no necesariamente yo tengo que estar de acuerdo con eso. Entonces, si ya contestamos algo diferente, ahí sí ya se sale, pues ya no hay como una específica. Really? I like it a lot. O yo puedo decir, oh, really? Why? I like it because, oh, oh. I, like, uh, I don't really like it, or yes, I like it a lot, or I love it, lo que usted quiera, ¿ya? Yeah? Si no es, es necesariamente que estoy de acuerdo con la persona, ahí sí ya no hay una regla. Puede contestar eh, dependiendo ya de uno mismo. Por ejemplo, aquí la última dice, I can't stand fast food. No soporto la comida rápida. I can't stand fast food. Pero resulta que a mí me gusta. Oh, I love it. Entonces, ahí sí ya no uso el auxiliar, ¿verdad? El can't, ni el neither, ni el either. ¿Ok? Right. Uh, mañana vamos a practicarlo, porque sí, uh, yo pienso que lo más difícil es cuando va el presente sin cuatro. Uh -huh. ¿Qué Recordar si es do o si va a ser verb so, uh, Tomorrow we will practice. Uh, so, if there are no questions, teacher, I have a question. Ah, Carla? What is the what is the mean hard? Meaning oh. of hard? J E R. J E R. ¿A dónde estaba? No, ahí no yo. Eh. Yo pregunto que estaba en una clase, en una, perdón, en un ejercicio de la clase. Complemento. Me acuerdo uh -huh. que estaba eso y lo anoté. Dije, lo voy a preguntar al teacher. Ah, J-E-R, jar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, jar es como decir un tarro. Oh. Tarro, lo, los, los botecitos esos como gorditos y con tapón. Esos son tarros. Ah, okay. uh -huh. okay. thank you. 
You're welcome. Is there any other question? Yes. Uh huh. Yes or no? Yes, no more only questions. that. Okay, no. good. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night, night. teacher. See you tomorrow. Night. 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 Night